Alright, today I'm going to show you how to extend the battery life of your camcorder using an external battery pack. And what I have here is just a, uh, a Sony camcorder. And the problem with this camcorder is the battery life is really bad. And uh, I have an extended capacity battery here. This is an extended capacity battery. It's not just a regular battery. And it doesn't last that long it lasts for like let's say 40 minutes max so imagine what's gonna you know do if you have a smaller battery say half of this size right which is a regular size battery it's gonna last you like what 20 minutes so that's pretty lame so today let's make a better battery pack for this camcorder and I have a Sony camcorder and it should work with most Sony camcorder and also many other camcorders I think they are pretty much the same um, those that have the DC input jack right on the camcorder itself so let's get to it so this camera has a DC input jack right on the camcorder where you plug in the <coughs> the uh, power adapter and plug it in here on the back of the camcorder to charge the battery right on the on the camcorder. Right? Some camcorder requires you to remove the battery and it has its own charger for the battery. But this one's different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the wire which came from the AC adapter itself. So let me show you the AC adapter. Zoom in here. As you can see here it says uh, DC output 8.4 volts. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. But well, I already cut the wire. See here I already cut the wire from the uh, AC adapter this is the original uh, plug and I already stripped and separate the wire so I use a voltmeter to measure the voltage let me show you what we got here okay Eight point four volts. Eight point four four. So I got the positive terminal on this side, right? Positive, negative. It's if I reverse the other way around, it's gonna be a negative sign on my ohm meter, on my voltmeter. See that? Negative. So the positive polarity is on this wire right here. So we know that that is positive which is the stripe white stripe wire is negative so when I cut this wire I know that this is a negative and this is positive which is very important because you're gonna hook up your battery to this wire alright and the 8.4 volts is important because this battery pack here this battery pack here is a 2S2P lithium ion battery. So each of the cell here is uh, 4.2 volts each. But two of them are in parallel and then uh, series with the other two. So it is a essentially an 8.4 volt battery pack. So that's why the AC adapter is also 8.4 volt to charge this pack. Right. Alright, so this hack is going to be really simple. All I have to do now is to install a power source on this wire and then plug in my camcorder and I'm going to be good to go. So what I have here is a pair of, uh, two pairs actually, of uh, 18650 battery packs. And they are right now in parallel, as you can see, positive to positive on this pack and 
it's the same for this one okay so what I'm gonna do is gonna just hook up these two pairs in series it's gonna be 2s2p pack right so positive to negative of the other end and between these two terminal is going to be a positive terminal and the negative terminal of an 8.4 volt pack and I'm just going to solder it into this wire should be good to go <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done here. Let me show you what I got. Battery pack solder with the XT60 connector. And the uh, battery is held onto the camera with some Velcro. It's pretty tight, not going anywhere. It's a little bit, it moves a little bit. So I use a rubber band to keep it from moving too much. It doesn't look pretty, but neither do I I mean you know I'm not gonna bring this to any beauty contest anytime soon I just want it to last longer you know, everybody wants your thing to last longer right plus look I can play some music too listen There you go. I can play different notes on it too. Is that cool? It looks a little bit funny, but you know what? Where else on earth you can find a camera, I mean a camcorder, with a couple of 18650 sticking on the top. And a rubber band that can make some music. Alright, it's time to plug it in and see uh, what we got here I got a power cable that I, cu I cut the power connector I cut from the uh, uh, power adapter and I solder on the other end XT60 so I can plug in my battery now this connector right here has got 8.4 volts so let's plug it in see what we got DC input Plugged in. Let's turn it on. It's on. There we go. 
and I already removed the original battery which is here it's working right now you can see so the camera is thinking that it's getting power from a from the IC adapter that's why you don't see any timing here um, it, uh, there's no battery icon here because it's thinking it's powered from the uh, from a wall outlet okay so now let me plug in the battery and see what happens okay let me turn this off first okay now let's plug in my battery pack okay so this is still plugged in okay plug in my battery pack now you see this light on that means it's charging my battery pack so the power right now is going from this pack to this pack until they equalize they will stop charging but let's turn it on again there you go it's on as you can see here even though this battery is, is installed the screen doesn't show the battery icon that's because it's still thinking uh, the the uh, camcorder is plugged in to a wall outlet uh, and it's using the power from the external pack right now not the internal pack so let me unplug it and see what happens okay it turns off and restart turn on again now the only power it has is from the internal um, battery and you can see here it's showing 42 minutes and the with the battery icon so right now it's powering by the internal battery and if I plug it back in plug the external battery back back in see what happens you can see here this light this uh, orange light lit up showing is charging the battery pack okay let's unplug and see what happens that's the same thing turn off and turn back on again with power coming from the internal battery so it's working fine just how it is designed for alright so the reason why I wanted to mount this on the top because uh, well with this camera there's not much place when you put the battery pack I mean this is a very big battery pack and um, there is a little s bit of space here where the original battery goes but the 18650 the pair of 18650 is just about let's say about three millimeter bigger than the uh, the spot in here so uh, doesn't fit in here and I can't mount it on the bottom because it's, uh, I need to have uh, space to mount my tripod onto the camera so this seems to be the best place to put the battery pack also the uh, rubber band doesn't get into the way I, I mean I can still hold the camera just fine just like that very comfortably and move around like that no problem at all I mean with this plug in that is plug in you can move it around easily no problem at all yeah let me show you what I did with the uh, original charger in which I cut the end to make this cable to connect to my battery so I cut this end and now I solder another XT60 um, connector so that I can plug in my battery pack that way I can charge this battery pack so if I plug this into the wall I can use this to charge this battery pack or I just use my um, Tonergy uh, balance uh, RC lithium ion battery charger to charge this battery pack 
as far as uh, capacity goes this one here let's see says 7.2 volt 7.2 watt hour so if you do the math it is 1 amp hour this pack here is 1 amp hour this here 2S2P each cell is 2000 milliamp hour or 2 amp hour right each cell 2 amp hour 2 cell series make it 8.4 volt or 7.2 volt nominal but 2 in parallel is going to make it 2000 milliamp hour times 2 that's 4000 milliamp hour at 8.4 volt or at 7.2 volt so 4 amp hour this pack at 7.2 volt 1 amp hour this pack so this pack here is 4 times as much as this if this lasts for 40 45 minutes this pack here lasts for three hours. Three hours. And this is a low capacity, 18650 cells. If I use something like this, Panasonic uh, 18650 cells, uh, this cell is 3400 milliamp hour. And four of these is going to be like what? One and a half times more than this which is if this is three hour four of the Panasonic is gonna be let's say about four and a half to five hour for a pack of four Panasonic you know I can make another pack last for another four or five hours and you know I keep I keep going or if I go crazy and make this pack this pack is is a 10 cell pack 2S5P Two in series, five in parallel. This is two and a half times more than this. If this is three hours, this is seven and a half hours. I have ten hours of battery life right here. So that's a lot of juice uh, for this camera, which I need. And I'm not planning to use this at all. This is just useless uh, once I have this so I'm not planning to use this at all plus it's if I add it in here it's gonna make it a little bit more heavy which I don't really like this is heavy enough for me so I'm just gonna plan uh, to use this pack only and it's easy to replace if this is out of juice I just unplug it unplug Remove it from here, like so. Put another pack in. Put a new pack in. Plug it back in. And let's see. Plug it back in. Turn on. There. Only take me a few seconds. I mean, I need it slow. I can do faster. Anyway. Only take me, you know, uh, no time at all to replace a new pack, which lasts for another three to five hours easily. Hi, right, folks, and that is how to increase the uh, capacity, the battery capacity of your camcorder, and this is extremely useful if you're out there shooting in the wild where you have no outlet no power at all just bring a couple of these and you're good to go you can last for literally last for a whole day or even days if you just keep building these packs and it's also very useful uh, for time-lapse video because time-lapse video takes it takes a snapshot of images uh, over a very long period of time so um, if you have a battery pack like this which only lasts for 45 minutes uh, you can't take uh, uh, time lapse that lasts longer than that so this will be very useful for time lapse video Alright, and so that is all I have for today, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.